The county's latest monkeypox vaccine event was held in Chula Vista. 800 appointments were made available here and they were all booked up in about 45 minutes. Well, it says that that the need is out there. The need is great and people are, are just anxious to get scheduled. Dr. Wilma Wooten is San Diego County's public health officer. She says the goal still remains to vaccinate everyone in the high risk category, but supplies are limited. So far, the region has gotten about 6,000 vials of doses, while five times that is needed. Now, we haven't received everything we've asked for, but we've gotten our allocations. Anyone can contract monkeypox, and most people do not need to be hospitalized. It can cause flu-like symptoms along with painful rashes or lesions. Currently, infections are largely among men who have sex with men. The county estimates the at-risk population to be about 66,000 people. Doses are being stretched with a method that delivers a smaller amount of vaccine but still offers the same protection. Wooten says more supply from the state that will be used for vaccine events and go to local providers is coming next week. Those numbers are higher than the prior allocation, so that's good news. But again, we'll share the exact numbers next week when we actually have the vaccines in hand. Infections are mainly spreading through sex, although general close skin-to-skin -skin contact is another form of transmission. Wooten says we may have seen infections peak locally in early August, similar to trends in statewide data. CDPH's website, you will also see their epi curve, and it's showing very similar patterns in terms of the fact that we peaked, but we're on the downslope. But the numbers are still, we are still seeing numbers every other day. Wooten says they typically declare an outbreak over when there are no cases for twice the virus's incubation period. In this case, that's about 42 days. Despite local, state, and federal monkeypox emergency declarations, San Diego County is not getting any federal funding for its response, but Wooten says state officials just announced they will be offering some financial support. Matt Hoffman, KPBS News. Thanks so much for watching KPBS on YouTube. I'm health reporter Matt Hoffman. If you like what you saw and you want some more content, click that subscribe button.